What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United Cream Road. In today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is against Chelsea and then later on in the episode we have a match against Southampton. But first things first, we have the squad report for you guys. Sammy Kadira has gone up a plus two, absolutely fantastic he has been in my career mode. Now he is a centre defensive mid, but he's been really, I've been putting him as a care, like a centre mid and he's been playing absolutely fantastic. One matter hasn't gone up in stats unfortunately. Wayne Rooney has scoring 29 goals in all competitions, 16 assists. Ronaldo has gone up a plus one, 48 goals in all competitions, 19 assists. Absolutely fantastic. Marcus Rojo hasn't gone up in stats, so I might be loaning him out next season. Um, but we'll soon see. Ander Herrera has gone up a plus one, along with his uh, midfielder counterpart, Daily Blind. Uh, Andrew Ayew has scored three goals so far, but I I don't know. I haven't really been uh, liking him all that much. I really just bought, just wanted to get him on a pre-contract. We'll probably sell him next season to make a profit. Um, but yeah. No, if we don't loan him out otherwise. But we have the match against Chelsea here, which is going to be a, a big match. We really do need to win because the title is coming to an end and there's only a couple of games left. But uh, speaking of games, let's recap the last episode, shall we? We ended up winning 2-1 over Tottenham Hotspur in the Champions League semi-finals. Uh, that was 3-1 on aggregate. Now, before that, we we only just lost to Tottenham in the BPL 1-0, so I was very hesitant <laughs> when I was versing them. And then the episode before that, we ended up drawing 3-3 at Old Trafford against Everton. So we had a couple of shaky fixtures, but I think we're coming back. And uh, with that 2-0 win over Manchester City in the last episode in the Manchester derby, I was feeling confident, and I thought that um, if we do verse them in the Champions League, we're going to give them a hell of a, uh, a hell in the fight, and the goal scorers with that for one matter, the goal scorers for that match were one matter and Ronaldo uh, for the Manchester City match. Now um, we either go, we are either going to be versing PSG or Manchester City in the Champions League final, which is going to be crazy. But it was good to see three English sides in the semis. But we're trying to get a win here against Chelsea. Uh, Royce managed to whip it into Hummels. Hummels with the header, with a fantastic header, mind you. But Peter Cech uh, managed to save quite confidently. David De Gea there as well, saving quite confidently. But there were a limited number of chances in this match. Both goalkeepers were having absolutely immaculate saves. But one matter was really the man of the match for me. He was getting in so many chances. But uh, Ronaldo here gets tackled in, like just outside the penalty box. He skids about a metre. And I'm sure the Chelsea D defense were parking the bus. They thought, oh, okay, Ronaldo, Ronaldo's going to get a free kick just outside the box. He continues the play and puts it into the bottom right past Chelsea. So whether or not we deserve to win that match, that was kind of a bullshit goal on my behalf, and I'm not afraid to admit it. But we end up winning 1-0 over Chelsea. Both sides had very limited number of chances. We both, we, like, we both were just like... Well, uh, it was really contested in the midfield, like passing it back and forth. One team would lose possession and then we'd gain it. So there wasn't actually that many highlights in that match. But Ronaldo is currently 20, uh, 29 goals in the Premier League. Absolutely fantastic. But De Diego Costa is currently second with 25 goals. So uh, we do have a match against Southampton here. So I wanted to um, mix up the team a little bit. I ended up taking off... Uh, one match that I wanted to bring on Ramirez because he we did actually sign him uh, from Southampton this season. He had six months remaining on his contract, but unfortunately we didn't have the wages uh, to do so. But we did have a player that I was willing to transfer, but we didn't get a transfer request from him. We ended up swapping Tom Cleverley for Ramirez. Um, I, we didn't pay anything. It was a straight swap, which was fantastic. I think so it was. We might have paid $2 million actually. But Ramirez was 25 years of age. He was uh, an 80 overall, absolutely fantastic footballer. Um, he has a lot of better, like <laughs> stats wise and like star wise, weak foot and skill than uh, Tom Cleverley. I don't really like Tom Cleverley to be honest. And Ramirez has a better potential, so we did get him on the cheap because of his six months remaining. But obviously there was that glitch about him joining Bayern Munich. So guys, we do get a penalty here uh, against Southampton, and Ronaldo slots it straight down the middle just before the 14th minute, and uh, Southampton from there weren't looking too sharp. But after that 1-0 win against Chelsea, we were coming into this match against uh, Southampton quite confidently, and it was good to see uh, 
Ramirez starting for him as well. But straight down the middle, Ronaldo wasn't going to miss that penalty. And uh, what a player Ronaldo has been. And that was his 30th goal in the Premier League as well. But Southampton here, uh, try to get it clear. Vidal finds Ramirez. Ramirez uh, Vidal hits it to Royce. And will we get one just before half time? R Royce finds nearly Ronaldo on the head, but Sammy Kadira on the outside of the box. He's trying to get another goal. And a little bit ambitious, fires one at the Southampton goalkeeper. But uh, misses. But I'm surprised we didn't actually score there. But Ramirez, just after half time, running at the Southampton defense and manages to score against his former club, which is fantastic to see that. And uh, what a goal from Gaston Ramirez. And he's going to be a, a really good midfielder. If oh, I don't know whether or not we're going to play with him or not, depending if his stats go up high enough. We already have a lot of um, fantastic midfielders at the club. But uh, I can see him having a future at Old Trafford if he keeps up performances like that. I was, I was really happy for him to get his uh, debut goal. Or, his, yeah, it was his goal. It was his first goal for Old Trafford. But uh, we're only there with the shot. It gets blocked. And uh, Ronaldo there puts in the bottom right to score his second of the match to have a 3-0 comfortable win over Southampton. And after that second goal from Gaston Ramirez, there was no way that Southampton were going to come back. They pushed too many bodies forward once again and uh, trying to get uh, no more than a consolation goal from there. But speaking of no more than a consolation goal, Ronaldo scores his hat-trick just before the 86 minutes to make it 4-0 against Southampton. So what a fantastic victory from the lads. A really good episode, 1-0 over Chelsea, 4-0 over Southampton. Gaston Ramirez picking up a goal, and I was really happy with the result. So guys, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel and this series, and I'll be bringing out more career mode tomorrow for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this video. Goodbye, guys. Thank you very much. Simsy out.